all my traveling time and all my endeavor, uh, many know you in the last 30 years, 40, 45. But my oldest friends, really, in the Western Hemisphere, and here in Colorado, particular, are those two gentlemen. Their teacher was my very first uh, friend, really. Called me brother while I was a total stranger in Colorado. I was Russell Perron. Because of Russell Perron, I stayed here. Yeah. Uh, I was writing letters, but he said, oh, why, why did you stay here? It's not so bad. I said, yeah, go. Russell, if you know people, what if you don't know people? You know. But anyway, they are guests of honors, and I hope they stay longer, and tomorrow they come back here, but before something happened, because uh, Mr. Chapman has just a very sensitive job that he is called every, every 24 hours. He's the leader of the pack, so. And I like to present two certification as emotional attachment, my best friend, and they are a hell of a martial artist. And uh, try to comb your hair with your feet. <laughs> 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 they know fighting, they know street fighting, and trust me, they loved fighting when they were young. And so, Mr. Harold Chipman, Chapman, Sir, it was always my honor to have you as a friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. John King. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to tell a little funny story about this gentleman. He was bigger than you ought to see when he <laughs> his muscle became uh, I love kicking. And every time he kicks somebody, he kicked me about one time I kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> Those two gentlemen are in my heart. Mr. King, please accept this.